The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. <laughs> Hey Frank, you looking you smart. Look at you, look at you. I'm oh, getting there. Look at that, look. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, sorry we're a little bit late. Oh. Right, let's, uh, let's get underway. Thank you very much for coming today for the big show on Saturday at the arena. He's here, he's back. Tyson back in the ring after uh, too long away. And we're all looking forward massively to him getting back into competitive action. Frank, of course, is the promoter. So I think it's probably appropriate that we start with a few words about what it means to British boxing, Frank, and the fact that the big fight is back here in Manchester. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry we're late starting. Apologies for that. Um, what does it mean for us? Well, I think for, for me personally, I'm highly delighted to be involved in promoting Tyson and working with him. Again, and more importantly for British boxing, I think it's, well, you see what it is. It just brings so much to the party. He's a, a character. He's, for me, he seems like a new man. Um, he's, the public have really, really taken to Tyson. They seem to like how he is at the moment. And uh, I think it's a credit to him, all the trials and tribulations he's come through, to be sitting here and being back. That being said, the most important thing is, about it is he can fight. He's, for me, the best heavyweight in the world. He's the linear champion. No one can consider himself to be the world heavyweight champion until they beat the man who beat the man, which was Tyson against Klitschko, and never lost his belts in the ring. So he's back. We're on a quest. He's going to get those belts back where they belong. This is the first step. Nearly a thousand days out of the ring. He's got a, an opponent sitting down there to my left who's... Uh, Got other ideas. He's fought a heavyweight. He fought Manuel Char, who's now the WBA. Uh, he's got the WBA title, a uh, regular title. He went the distance with him. So for me, it's a great fight for Tyson and a great opponent for him to come back to. Um, I am just so excited and I'm so pleased that he's back, as I've said. And I'm looking forward to Saturday night as the start of this journey to get this man back where he should be, which is the best heavyweight in the world with the belts. The fight will be broadcast live on BT Sports. Manchester Arena is a big arena. Tickets have gone very well, but there are still tickets available, correct, Frank? There are tickets available. So uh, you want the tickets, get in touch with the box office, and uh, we've got a good crowd going there. It's going to be exciting, as I say. It's going to be a great atmosphere, and we've got some really good fights on there besides... The man himself, we've obviously got a cracking, cracking fight between Manchester's own um, Terry Flanagan, who's fighting for the vacant uh, WBO title, against Maurice Hooker, who's unde both of them undefeated. So we've got a great fight there, great undercard, and as I say, the man himself here. So I'm looking forward to it. Tyson, it's been, uh, it's been a long time. Are you feeling uh, just a, a tiny bit nervous about getting back in the ring? Are there a few, few collie wobbles? No, no nerves at all. I feel like I've been a goldfish in a tank, trapped, and now I'm getting released back into the river where I belong. So just put me there and watch me swim. I, swim, I will be an effective swimmer, and I uh, can't wait for the fight, basically. But a thousand days is a long time for anybody, isn't it? Um, not to mention the amount of weight I put on, eight stone and... Just madness, really. It was a roller coaster of a few years, and I'm just glad to be back. Happy to be sat here fighting again on Friday, Saturday, rather. What a lot's been made. I mean, you've talked about eight stone at your heaviest officially. What were you? Round about 27 and a half stone, yeah. And now, what would you anticipate being in when you when you weigh in on Friday? Anywhere between 19 and a half and under, really, a bit over. Anywhere between anywhere around 19.7. And how, how good do you feel physically now? I mean, you look, Frank says you look great and you do look I'm great. I'm looking how do you good. Feel? I'm flying. <laughs> you can always tell if I'm looking good. My face seems to have got better looking by the day. And uh, look, it is what it is. I'm looking good. I feel good. I don't ever remember feeling any better than I do now. 
I feel sharper now, faster than I've ever been. More power. More, um, I just want it more, you know. Before, when I was world champion, I, d I fell out of love with the game. It's no secret that I didn't come be bothered with boxing anymore. I, I really, it was a, a lost relationship. It was like I was married to the game too long and we um, sort of fell out of love with each other. But now the love is thriving. We're back on fire for each other. And any good relationship, all you've got to do is spice it up. So what I did was put some lingerie on this bitch and we're back. <laughs> we're back in love. Everything's spicy and you're going to see the best Tyson Fury you've ever seen. And how much are you enjoying being back in the centre of things like this? Because, I mean, this is a, a big media turnout yes, today. And there's a yes, lot of it is. Yeah, there's a lot of media guys here. Thank you very much for all the media, journalists, everybody. And even Glenn McCrory's here. Get up there, Glenn. <laughs> yes, it's, um, it's such a great turnout. We've attracted so many good-looking people. Uh, must be doing something right, mustn't I? Um, look, I said, the Mac is back. It's Mac gear. No disrespect to this fellow here and his manager. I've met him before. He was the manager of Christian Hammer. Yeah. And I've whooped his ass too. <laughs> so hopefully, listen, Sefa's a good fighter. I'm not underestimating Sefa. I look at Sefa like I look at Vladimir, Joshua, Wilder, anybody. He's a dangerous puncher, 21 KOs. He's in good shape. He's a good looking man. Um, and he'll be coming to knock me spark out on, the, on Saturday. Look, we've all got the same um, uh, chins. You know, if he's knocked out 21 men before, if he gets on me, he'll knock me spark out too. So I don't want that. I want to keep on going and win all the belts back and become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world again. Um, and it's my job not to let him do that. So I know he's well prepared. He's always fit and in shape. If he's going to take his top off and show us, show us his muscles, he'll be ready, fit, six-pack top. Nice bit of gel in that black hair he's got. Bit of baby oil on. He'll look the bollocks on the night. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he's a good-looking fellow. I'm sure this man's a travelling man. <laughs> well, let's just hear from uh, Errol then, who is... Uh, who he's is, even uh, got white teeth too. <laughs> Sefa's uh, manager and promoter, Errol Ceylan. Just tell us a little bit about, about your man and what the hopes are when you come here facing up to this contest. It's Good all afternoon, yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, a, I'm very glad to be here in Manchester. That's real. That's the second fight against uh, Tyson Fury, the first one we have in uh, February 2015. Uh, that's a matter that we have to discuss maybe uh, later. But uh, now is time for Seferi. Um, Sefer uh, is a good, good fighter in cruiserweight, and also he make one fight in heavyweight. Uh, Frank explained it before against Manuel Cha. He take that fight in a very, um, very small distance, so he have only three weeks to prepare for that fight. But now he is very well prepared. He's a good fighter. He have a brave heart, and I think he will give his best uh, for testing Tyson on Saturday. We don't know uh, in what shape he are. Uh, of course, he say he's in very good shape, but we hope that I'm in good was, shape. Come uh, on, feel me. Come on, come over here and touch me. <laughs> but uh, we, we, will, we will test him on Saturday, and then we will see. I think uh, Sefer will, will, will give a very, very tough fight. Can we hear from Sefer as well? Can you uh, ask Sefer uh, what his hopes are for this fight? You can answer in English or in German yeah, if you was, prepare. Was prefer. Yeah, he makes in German. Uh, hallo zusammen, schön, dass so viele Presse da ist. Uh, ich habe einen großen Respekt vor Tyson Fury. Er ist ein großer Mann. Für mich ist er uh, der uh, Schwergewichtstalent, der beste der 21. Jahrhundert. Ja, yeah. yeah, first of all, hallo, it's great to see so many people from the press here. Uh, I have to say I have great respect for Tyson. Uh, he's a bit, I see him as a big man, and I think he's one of the best talents in the 21st century. How, uh, how, how confident are you that you can give him a, a real fight on Saturday night? Yeah, wie zuversichtlich bist du, dass du einen Kampf machen kannst am Samstagabend? Natürlich, vor dem Kampf habe ich großen Respekt vor Tyson Fury. Er ist ein Er ist ein Showman, er ist ein guter Boxer, er, ist, er sieht gut aus. Äh, aber ich meine, ich bin da in Manchester nicht umsonst gekommen, sondern ich will siegen. Ja, yeah. uh, obviously, I have great respect for Tyson. I said, uh, 
Yeah, he certainly he looks good. Uh, he's good boxer as well. Um, and but I haven't come here to Manchester just for the sake of it. I've come here to win. What are you hoping to get out of it, Tyson? Because uh, I guess you, you, in an ideal world, you obviously, obviously you want to get a win, but you want to get a few rounds, don't you? Listen, I could have picked somebody a lot easier than uh, Sefa. Someone who I could have went one round with and knocked him out. But I need plenty of rounds. I've been out a thousand days. I've been out two years, eight months. And I need rounds. So I know Sefa's tough. I know his brother's tough. Um, the tough guys, so that's why I picked him. Picked him because I know he's tough, strong, he's going to come forward and he's going to bring a lion's heart and he's going to come to win. Tell us about the sparring that you've had in, in preparation for this. How many rounds you've been doing, how you've been feeling? I've done hundreds of rounds of sparring. I've done um, way over 300 rounds in the, without the tra with the training camp. Sparred everybody, really. I've had many, many people in. Done well, to say the least. Done very well. Look at me. No mark hey, on me. You look good. I've done do over 300 good. rounds. I got a little special talent, and that talent is not to get hit in the face. Um, that's why I'm this good looking. It's hard, it's very hard, you know, not getting hit in the face, but I sort of mastered it. And that's what it is, if you don't get hit, then the opponent can't win. But listen, I won't be running away from um, Sefa or anybody else in the division. They'll know where to find me in the ring, it's not a very big place, and it's very easy to beat me. Very, very, very easy to beat Tyson Fury. And the late, great Brendan Ingle once said in the gym, in front of many people, he said, the only way to beat Tyson Fury is knock the cunt out. <laughs> he said, and if you don't knock him out, he said, you ain't gonna win. He said, because he'll just keep coming for you all night. And some people go in a boxing fight and they almost settle to lose. After they give it a go for a few rounds, and they, they get, get a, a groove right, I'll rather lose on points now. And that's it, they, they, this is five. They call survivors to go in there and mess around and get through the fight. But with me, I'd rather get knocked back out in 10 seconds trying to win than go in there and trying to get a, a loss on points. Because losing's losing at the end of the day. Whether you lose on points or you get chinned, same thing, still lost. And that's what makes me dangerous. I'll keep coming for you for the whole 12 rounds. It would have suited me to be 15 rounds now, not 12. I feel the 12 round goes very quick and I've been more suited to 15 round days, but whatever. I'm fit, I'm prepared, no excuses. If Sefa beats me, good luck to him, fair play. But if I beat him, fair play to me as well. Successful comeback, that's what I hope. But the mo most important thing I hope is that we both go in there, do our best performances, and I hope we both come out of the ring safely and sound and go home to our families. That's it. Will you be trying to send out any sort of a, a message with how you look and how you get on on Saturday night to, to Anthony Joshua, to Deontay Wilder, and to the other big names? No, I don't need to send any more messages. They know the message. They know the message is the Mac is back. That's all they need to know. It's not about how you perform against one opponent to the next to the next because every opponent's different. And if, if you prepared for one guy as you would another, then you'd be very foolish because everybody's very different as you know. I don't want to send any messages. I want to get in there, have fun, enjoy myself and enjoy my comeback. And that's what I aim to do. And you want to come out of this as a winner. Have you got the power to knock Tyson out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have not umsonst mal my camp in Cruisergewicht äh, ins Land der Träume geschickt. Äh, Power habe ich schon. Ich trainiere auch mit äh, Schwergewichtlern. Äh, aber ich meine, Tyson Fury ist ein, eine große Nummer. Tyson Fury ist äh, groß, talentiert, starker Mann. Und ich kann jeden Boxer umhauen, wenn ich gut treffe. Aber zuerst muss man Tyson Fury treffen. Yeah, um, I'd say I've had great experience from the uh, cruiserweights and come through that. I've also trained with heavyweights as well. Uh, so I'm obviously prepared. I'm taking on Tyson, who's a big man, very talented, very strong. But I do have the power and nothing. I can win in the ring. And you think you can actually get to it? 
You think you can get past that big reach? Ich habe das natürlich sehr viel geübt im Training mit meinen Spanningsleuten und ich werde es natürlich versuchen, aber Tyson Fury ist ein Ausnahmetalent und das wird natürlich sehr schwierig, ihn zu treffen, aber ich gebe mein Bestes. Ja, in uh, Sparring, we train on that and with the Sparring Partners, um, but Tyson Fury is an outstanding talent um, and it will be very difficult, but I'll give my all. Okay, right. Can we have uh, questions from the floor to all here? Tyson and Frank and the guys here. You want some? You think you're doing me? No, definitely not. You want some? Get him! He's the one who wants some. He wants some or no? Get him! Get him! Get him! Security! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get the security! Let's go! Who is this man? Who is he? Who are you? You're flying out Saturday night. What's your name? Good man! Listen, you can have someone all. After I've dealt with him, I'll deal with you two. So. Any more uh, ser searching questions for those up here? Anybody else? Shout them out, please. Gareth? Yes, it does. Um, there's a massive support I've got and I've had from all my troubles. I've, I've had so much support and, and well wishes and good luck messages and everybody's really been um, helping me, sparing me on, on this comeback. This ain't just me and Ben and a few training partners and the nutritionists and the conditionists. This is me and the whole nation. I seem to have everybody behind me um, and I'm coming back and fighting for them. It's not just for me this. I'm doing this, I'm doing fighting again for people who need it, inspiration, people who need help, people who suffer with mental health problems as well. And it's living proof that, like I said many, many times in the press this last month, if I can do it, then anybody can do it. To come from 27 and a half stone to get back in shape, back to fighting level, to fight on Friday, Saturday night, then it's a, uh, it's a statement, isn't it? For sure. In a sense that, you know, there was that, I did off the uh, the boxing fans, but you know it is what it is. I'm not here to dwell on the past. I'm here to move forward. That was behind me. Let's move on to the new chapter, the new Tyson Fury, the people's champion, someone who everyone can relate to. You might find me in the local bar, pub, restaurant, anywhere, on my own. And there's no negativity anymore, isn't it? Yeah, there's no negativity, so don't even start, because i got Frank to nut you. I'll nut you outside, me and you. <laughs> Any more? Any more? Shout them out. Where's Dev? Usually got something to say. Dad, what have you got to say? Go on. How am I looking in the gym? Best I've ever seen you. Better tenfold than you've ever been. Because he's happy. And relaxed. And everything right. You know, that's why we picked the dangerous opponent like Seth for here. Because we know he's capable. He can beat any man on the planet. And I have massive support. What I'm seeing, there's nobody even born that can back then. He's the fastest, the biggest, the strongest heavyweight in the world. I think people can back to that top level. Don't expect my way for nothing. He is the real deal of boxing. There's no other. There's no other heavyweight on this planet. They're all good, excellent fighters. But there he is. He's been born. It'll be three to five hundred years before you see the class of him again. And I would want to say that he's the first man.
from the travelling people to ever be near a position like this and he'll stay champion for the next 10 years. There's only one man beating Tyson Fury, that's himself, him. no one else. But at the minute, that's a no-go area, everything couldn't be better. We're all happy, we're in happy places. We're get on boxing, we're going while it's here. Good stuff. Tyson, probably, uh, probably not a bad time on the back of what your dad said there, just to, just to give us all a word about Ben and the way in which he's worked to get you back to where you are. Yeah, well, Ben's a good-looking fella and he is looking for a boyfriend, so if there's anybody available, just give me your number and I'll pass it on to him. Seriously, though, I mean, as a, as a trainer... I'm being he's, serious, and a Ben. <laughs> he's put a smile on your face, hasn't he, in more ways than one. You know what? He has. <laughs> Go on, Ben. <laughs> anyway, on another subject. He, um, he has been a breath of fresh air to me, really. He's been like a... Um, he's been my hero, Ben has, and he's only a young kid. He's 25 year old. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. The world is looking at Ben and saying, who the heck is Ben Davison? Well, after Saturday night, you're going to know who Ben Davison is. And he'd be there with a tan with his head brushed back with that Essex voice on him. And we're on. We're moving on to the top. We're taking over. And we're Ben. <laughs> That's who Ben Davison is. Frank, any, uh, any final thoughts before we move on to head-to-head -head photographs and one-on-ones? Uh, and -on no, I just, as I say, it's, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think boxing is going to be really entertaining. Yeah. You know, the most important thing, I, I agree with all what... <coughs> Tyson's dad, John, all what he said, everything he said, but one thing he left out, he's, the, for me, the boxer that's got the best boxing brain. He's got all the other attributes, but he's got a great boxing brain, and I think that is where you're going to see the best thing. When he's in that ring, you can see what he's doing, you can, he's outthinking people, got everything else to do, it, and that, is, that, for me, is what's going to get him to where he should be, which is back to being the, the uh, unified champion. And he will win those belts and we will move heaven and earth to make those fights happen. We don't want TV companies getting in the way of it. We don't want promoters getting in the way of it. The fans, the boxing fans, wants those fights and it's up to us to ensure collectively that they happen. Brilliant. Well, as I say, it's all going to be viewed for you on BT Sport on Saturday night. If you can't be there at the arena, it's going to be a very special occasion. We're going to have a press conference tomorrow to discuss all the undercard fights, including principally the Flanagan Hooker world title fight, which promises to be a special one. It's going to be a great night of boxing. Going to do head-to-head uh, -head photographs coming up now. And then all of you who want to have one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, with Tyson will be setting up next door. And uh, Sefa will be available to speak to you as well. So thank you very much for coming today. And uh, we all look forward to Saturday. Thank you.